happening, people. Come check out my training and my six-star training blog. Uh, well, I was about uh, 14 years old. I was playing hockey at the time. Uh, got kicked out of one of my schools in middle school and had to switch schools and uh, you know make new friends and kind of start over kind of thing. And uh, at that point, um, I was not sure. I was I was kind of fading out of liking hockey and there was a lot of politics going on with uh, you know being a poor kid in a rich city and. Uh, playing on, a, on the rep team and stuff like that, a lot of things, you know, interfered and, interfered and uh, I kind of like lost interest because of it, so at that point I really didn't know what direction I was going with my life, I was, you know, kind of you know, a lost kid, um, and then my brother uh, brought up uh, the, a mixed martial arts gym in town that he uh, had found during a PE class trip there, so... Uh, he told me, and I was really intrigued because I always really liked uh, uh, UFC growing up, but never, you know, thought of, you know, there would be a gym that taught it. You know, I was never really interested in doing traditional martial arts. So, but when I when I heard that there was the gym in town um, teaching these things, uh, I was immediately like intrigued. We started talking about it for a good half an hour. We were driving in the car, me, my brother, my dad, and. Uh, he, uh, he's like, well, you want to go? You sound so enth like enthusiastic about it. And it's like, yeah. He whipped the car around, went to the house, picked up some stuff, went to the gym, and I started training. So, and I, and literally when he picked me up, I, I told him, I was like, this is what I'm going to be doing for the rest of my life. So I knew instantly it was it was it was a pretty cool feeling, and uh, it really changed uh, the direction of my life from some negative times to a very positive thing. What areas of the MMA do you believe are your key strengths? I think my biggest strength is being a balanced fighter and being uh, having equal ability in every aspect of mixed martial arts. So if I, have, I fight a specialist as a kickboxer, you know, I know I'm going to be good at him in uh, two other aspects of fighting, wrestling and, and uh, jujitsu and uh, ground and pound and, and things like that. So there's so many different uh, styles, but I feel like a, a balanced style and uh, mixed martial arts is the most effective. Now, so what are your short-term goals and long-term goals in the UFC? Short-term, right now, is to win my fight against Shane Mills. Um, long-term, I want to be, uh, you know, it's not even that far away, I don't think, but uh, I want to be the champion of the welterweight division few years down the road, I want to go up to middleweight, I'll be the champion of that. Maybe soon after that, go up to light heavyweight, win the title at that. Soon after that, go up to heavyweight, take the heavyweight belt too, you know, it's just a, I want to do something in MMA that's never been done before. And that most people don't think is even necessarily possible. So what drives you every day to get up and become a better fighter for your future? Uh, I, th I think it's just like a, a love for the for martial arts and and uh, just being just being intrigued with with uh, growing and uh, evolving and 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 changing people's uh, idea of fighting you know that rather than a brawl or it's like there's like a scientific method to it. Now over the last few fights, there's a lot of hype and media surrounding you. Um, with all this attention, how do you stay grounded and focused on your training? Uh, well, I just separate it from my mind. I, I mean, uh, cameras and lights and, you know, fans and stuff like that is it's an added bonus, I guess, but that's not why I got into the sport. I got into the sport because I love it. And, you know, I, I never want, uh, you know, fame or fortune to change who I am or make who I am. I'm going to stay true to myself and to my family and be the person I am and just follow my goals. Whether there's cameras or money around, doesn't matter.
Now, going into your next fight, you're the co-main event. How do you think you're going to handle the pressure of that? This is your first co-main event. Obviously, you know, you've got a few fights under your belt. This is the first time you're a co-main event. How are you going to handle the pressure of that? Uh, I'm not really putting pressure on myself. It's another fight. You know, like I said, in front of 50 people or 50,000, you know, the rush is still the same. So, um, I really don't, I, I understand there's more obligations for media when uh, you're fighting with the UFC and you're a co-main event or a main event. So, uh, you know, I'm prepared for that. But at the same time, when I, when the cage door closes, it's all the same. Um, it really doesn't change my outlook on things. Awesome. Yeah.